In this episode of Winning with SketchUp, we are going to talk about roof modeling and doing it the manual way, and specifically for situations where you have a more complex roof and none of the automatic roof plugins will do the job and you have no other choice but to build it the long way and to solve that roof. So I have a roof here that was pretty tricky simply because not only did this roof have multiple pitch scenarios, so we have multiple pitches over the same roof. You can see here we had a 10-12, 12-12, and an 8-12 all over the same roof. Um, but to make it even more challenging, we had to represent the flared end on this roof. So we had that little ramped end all the way around and that profile, um, and we wanted to show that. And it's a tricky roof to build in SketchUp. None of the uh, roof plugins would do the job automatically. So I was left with no choice but to build this roof the old fashioned way and to do things manually. So I want to go through how I did that and just show some techniques for that. We can see the roof here and I was able to solve this roof um, perfectly and have everything work out nice and clean overall. So I'm going to take this top section here and just focus on this for now. And we're going to rebuild this section just as an example here. So I'm going to take the bottom profile here and just move a copy over on the red axis and go through and rebuild the roof. Um, the f first I want to I'm gonna just grab an edge here and I'm gonna hide the ridge up top and turn off our textures, turn on hidden geometry and I'm just gonna grab a line here from the top and make sure we are coming out perpendicular bring that down to about there. Then I'm going to just draw a line the rest of the way here. And really what I'm trying to do is get a profile. So I'm going to use tools on surface so I can draw over that set of curves there with one continuous line. And I'm just going to grab this set of edges here and move a copy of that over. So what I did when I drew this and I knew that I had those three different pitches that I was going to be working through with the roof is I just drew um, an edge as my profile to start with and had my flare at the end and I drew that at all three pitches that I was looking to have there so I'm just gonna borrow them for now so I don't have to do that over for the sake of time and I'm just gonna draw an edge down here make sure I get that perpendicular and turn back on hidden geometry. Grab my tools on surface line tool and just come down, um, snap that to the green there, and come all the way down. I just want to grab that edge and I'm going to copy that from the bottom, move that over to here. So those are the only two pitches that I have on this roof section here. So I'm delete those and I'll show you how to go about. Um, a method to do this the manual way and make sure that everything lines up here. So I'm going to grab this edge and I'm going to move this over. I'm just going to snap it there to that corner. And now I'm going to use the extrude tools, the extrusion tools from TIG. And we're going to use the extrude edges by vector. And that will allow me to create a flat roof plane here and it'll keep that in a group for me. So now we have this roof plane in a group and I see the bounding box is off so I want to straighten that out so I'm going to explode it, regroup it and now that'll straighten out my bounding box and I also want to delete that extra edge there. So now we have one clean roof plane that way and we'll do the same thing here and I could do remove lonely vertices and get rid of that extra vertice there. And now I'm going to pull this across. Delete 
delete that in the group there, do the same thing, explode it, and regroup it. And then I could bring that across there as far as I need it. I'm just going to leave that there for now. And what I want to do is I want to take each one of these roof planes here. And I'm just going to take this top edge and I'm going to lift that up a little bit to make sure I'm up high enough on this side. And I'm just going to use the move tool and move that up there. So I'm going to take this roof plane and I'm just going to copy this around to every corner of this roof and then rotate it into place. And snap that there and then I can scale that and hit our mark there. And do the same thing. I'm going to grab that corner, bring it over here. Now I want to rotate this, and snap it this way, grab that. Tap it to that corner, rotate there, and grab that, bring it over here, and we're going to rotate this way. And we can snap that to there, snap that one to there, rotate this way. And actually, that one doesn't need to be there because that's a 12 8 pitch. I'm just going to grab that. And now I'll grab this corner, put our last piece in for this angle, and we're gonna scale that to the end. So I just need to take this piece and we want to bring that over to the other side. We can just manually rotate this around. We could flip it. Just rotate that. And we just kind of want to snap to this edge here. So now all we have to do is go in. And I just want to make sure these are scaled enough that everything is intersecting. And I actually have one piece here that I forgot. So I'm just going to grab from that corner. I really want to make sure you're at the exact corner there. And then I'm just going to rotate that. We have this little 45 degree piece here. And pull that up. And make sure all of these are intersecting. And those are, that one is. Um, get rid of those guides. We need to pull this one a little bit more. Make sure that's intersecting. get in here and soften these two. Turn on monochrome mode so we can see a little better. And everything looks good. Looks like we have good intersections everywhere. We were able, able to control that with two different uh, slopes there. And now what we can do is just go through, grab all of these, explode them, and then we're going to go intersect faces with selection. And what we could do now is just go through and trim off all of these extra pieces, group them and delete them, group, delete, and what we're left with quickly is our roof line and it's very accurate and everything is lined up and we have good intersections everywhere. So we need to grab this piece, grab this piece, delete those, delete that edge. And there we have it. We have our roof, we delete that, um, get in and I'm gonna run a plugin called Fixit 101. I'll go through and try to See if there's any extra pieces. I can delete this bottom here too. And if there's anything inside, we can get in and delete that. And then we can rebuild this bottom here. And now our roof is nice and clean. And we can grab all of that, make it a group. And we even have a solid group there. So that's how we know we did a really good job that we actually 
went away with this as a solid. So I'm just going to quick save that. And now when it comes to making our ridge caps on a roof like this, it can be a little bit tricky because we have this profile down here. So a little trick to do that is I'll use the tools on surface offset. We'll go around and offset this, you know, offset four inches. And now I can just go and double click on each one of these faces. And oops, did that one twice. Now all I have to do, I can use the tools on surface line tool. And I can go around and just make these connections here. Then we're going to get in and delete our extra edges that we don't need. So we don't need to worry about those middle ones there. Uh, let me grab these here. So, and you want to be mindful too of the type of roof that you're creating. If you're creating more of a mission tile or Spanish tile roof. Um, you need to do your ends a little bit differently. Probably do a, a little more of a profile extrusion. Um, this is more of a slate roof in this project, so I ended up doing um, these ridge caps this way. And these are a little bit tricky. And sometimes we're not getting good closure here. So I'm just going to use the SketchUp line tool to finish that off. Finish off this one little piece here. And that didn't connect. Um, I'm just going to connect any of these with the edge gap inspector that's a part of edge tools. You see there's a couple of those that didn't work out. That will allow me to quickly go through and make those little connections that are hard to see. And now uh, we just have this piece over here, I guess. And now we can get in and we should be able to delete all of these extra pieces that we don't want. bottom and we don't want to delete that there so we need to make some connections here and we're just going to connect from here to here look good. Delete that piece there. And that should do it. Now what I usually do is I'll go in and grab this piece that we just created here. And make sure I have it all the way around. And I'm going to lift a copy of this up. Now I want to go in and I want to clean this up again. So I'm going to run Fix It 101. And everything that we just drew, it went in and deleted all of that. I don't need it anymore because we've created what we need here. And I can take this and I usually use Joint Push Pull at this point. And, or Vector Push Pull might do a better job. So I'm going to bring this up. Make sure we have everything selected. Go Vector Push Pull. And we want to come up here on the z-axis. We want to come straight up. And I'll usually pull that up by a half inch or so. Just to give us that little bit of shadow definition. And now we can take that and bring that back down. And I have vector push. 
push pull set to make a group. So we kept that group there. And now we have our roof here in its own group. And we have our ridge in its own group. Um, and if we wanted to texture that, a lot of times we should come through then and just connect these edges so that we can control which direction the texture is going. But overall, that's pretty much the technique there. And it's the way that I went about creating this here. go so we can see that they look pretty much the same and I did that same technique here for all of these roof lines and went around and made sure that the, um, I was matching up with the proper pitch everywhere that I need to, needed to here so I hope that was helpful and will allow you to solve more complex roof lines um, very quickly and easily We'll see you in the next video.